Welcome to the Daily Energize Podcast, where you'll get a jolt of energy and a quick tip to help you conquer your day. Now here's your host, the Prince of Positivity himself, Spencer Jones. What's up, Energizer? Happy day! Happy day! (laughs) I hope you are ready for an incredible and amazing day ahead. And just know that it is going to be amazing because you are here. You are here shining your beautiful, your gorgeous, amazing light with me and with the rest of the world. And just know that I am grateful. I am grateful for you for you being you, for you sharing your love, your light with me and with the world. It is such an honor. It is so amazing to be part of your journey. So thank you for giving me and allowing me that honor to be part of your journey. And know that it is an honor to have you as part of mine. So thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for coming here today, being here, being you, and sharing your love, your light with the world. And today we're going to talk about something Super, super easy that we overlook it probably more times than not. My guess is over 50%. I would say even like 75, if not more percent of the time, we overlook these things. And that is the small things. The small things in life that bring us joy in particular. We overlook them. We look at different things, but we don't necessarily intentionally take time to enjoy the small things. Now, what's kind of crazy, I was going to say it's crazy that I I stop myself short because I'm like, eh, we do this often. And it's not necessarily crazy because it helps keep us alive. It's part of our awareness system. And that is, we notice the negative small things. Ah, I don't like that. Ah, I I really wish this was better like that. Or if you think about a friend or a partner in your life, you can go like, mm, I really don't like this. Or all oh, these little things just start to drive you crazy. It gets under your skin and you get frustrated. Oh, that could be a partner. That could be uh, your pets at times. That could be who, everything and anything. We focus on the negative so much uh, and so often that it just consumes us. But what if we intentionally then look towards the positives? And yes, we look at the big positive things in our life, the, the, the good things. But what about the small, the small, seemingly insignificant, the little tiny things in our life, like, as the title might suggest, coffee or tea? That first sip of coffee in the morning. Mmm, I had mine just a little bit ago, and it was amazing. I savor that first sip. Or the first sip of tea, it's amazing. Or maybe you're like, yeah, I don't do coffee or tea, but I have water or whatever you drink. Savor it. And not just at the beginning of the day, but throughout the day as you are enjoying it. The food that you're eating, the air that you're breathing, the, the chair you're sitting in, everything and anything. Now I get it would be all consuming if all we did was being grateful for every single thing in our life. Well, I'm grateful for this microphone. I'm, I'm grateful for this the wire. I'm grateful for the, the the laptop, the desk, the person who made the desk, the person. Uh, yeah, we can go on and on and on. It would be all consuming. Now that might not be a horrible way to live, but it doesn't allow us to be as productive or to well. Maybe not shine our light as much, but I'm going to keep that one on the side because I'm not 100% sure on that one. But I could tell you if I was just grateful all the time for all those different things and that's all I was doing, I wouldn't be as productive. So it's finding that balance of like, okay, I'm still grateful for everything. I'm going to be very intentional and call out these different things in my life. I'm grateful for the notebook. I'm grateful for these lights. I'm grateful for the internet, for all of you. Like... I'm grateful for all of those things and more, but then I'm going to focus and work on the things that I need to work on. But I'm inviting you. I'm inviting you to take time to be intentionally thankful for some things that you just take for granted. Things you don't necessarily think too much about, like that coffee, that tea, that water that you drink. Maybe that pencil you are using or the the seat cover or you know whatever it is that's on your seat uh the, a window think of the little things in your life and i invite you throughout today 
Anything that, when something just becomes habitual, uh, systematic to you, right? Something that you do without thinking. I invite you to bring some more awareness to it and be grateful for the different parts of it. It doesn't have to take a long time. It doesn't have to take forever. But take some time and be grateful. It's amazing what that can do. All right. That's all I got for today. Thank you so much for being here, joining me. Let's take time to be grateful for the small things because so much of the big things, almost all of the big things, are built up of the small things. So if we can be grateful for the small things, that helps us be grateful for the big things and enjoy that journey along the way because life is a journey, right? It is a journey. So let's enjoy the small moments as well as those big ones because then we get to enjoy almost the entire journey. All right, that's all I got. Uh, Have an amazing day. Keep shining your light. And until next time, I will catch you later. Hey there, real quick before you head out and keep crushing your day, how amazing would it be if we could get together as an Energizer family to learn, to grow, to connect, to celebrate? I don't know about you, but that would be freaking amazing. And we've heard our Energizers ask for it. So, guess what we did? We're making it happen. We are putting together an Energizer Summit where we get to come together to learn, to grow, to have breakthroughs. So, what we're doing is we're calling this Energizer Summit the Breakthrough Experience. And it's all about putting you at the cusp of multiple breakthroughs over this three-day, two-night event. Because we recognize and realize that when we have a breakthrough... We step into our light a little bit more and we shine brighter. So why not have that multiple times over this event so that when you, the person who walks in, the person who leaves are two different people because you have stepped into your light again and again and again. So if you are interested in that, if you'd like to come hang out with Katie and me and our Energizer family, get ready because the breakthrough experience is happening in Chicago, September 12th through 14th, 2024. And we have a limited number of spots available. We're uh, capping it off about 150 people. So if you are interested in this and you want to be there, make sure you reach out to me. You can send me a message uh, at spencer at spencermjones.com and let me know you are interested in the Breakthrough Experience. And then let's have a conversation to see if it's an alignment and what we could do to have you join us. So with that, keep shining your light. And I hope to see you at our Energizer Summit, the Breakthrough Experience.